the word, the word respect in, in Shinty to me um, means that everybody that's involved in the sport from, um, from primary school age all the way up to the great work that they're doing with the memory Shinty, everyone involved with the sport has a mutual respect for each other um, and everybody has uh, the same goal of uh, promoting and, and supporting such a unique sport um, in this country. I think in, in, in general terms, referees and officials are, are respected um, to, to some degree. I think there's still a lot of work to be done on the field of play for, that, for the, the 90 minutes of the match, uh, which is understandable that um, players are determined to win. They want to, to try and grab any um, advantage that they can, and sometimes that spills and, and disrupts disrespect to uh, match officials does happen um, post-match and, and pre-match I think um, because we are such a, a close-knit sport then everybody gets on really well with each other uh, like I say I think there's a lot of work that can be done um, during the 90 minutes of a match I think the b biggest challenges um, of, of refereeing in Shinty at the moment is getting players to to understand that every decision that, that's made in the field is um, based on the referee's interpretation. Um, the referee is, a, is, is, is not biased, he doesn't have um, feelings towards either side and they will give a, a decision how they, how they see the incident unfold. Um, a lot of the frustration from players and where the disrespect comes is, is not understanding it from, from a neutral's point of view. Um, which is understandable, like I said, about players wanting to win. Um, but the biggest challenge is, is trying to let players know why you've given the decision and getting them to have a better understanding of, of the referee's job. Um, obviously, it's not a nice feeling when, when people are, are shouting, they might be swearing at you. Um, but at the end of the day, my, the decisions that I make are, are based on my interpretation of the laws and, and my interpretation of, of what's gone on um, on, the, on the field. I think I, I might be in, a, in a, a slightly unique position that these kind of threatening attitude and, and things like that is something that I come across every work. So having it on a Saturday afternoon is, isn't anything new to me and I'm not somebody who's going to to react to, to the shouting and swearing, I'm very kind of calm in that sense. Um, but like I said, it, it, it's not it's not nice. It gives it gives you a, a bad taste in your mouth when when you leave the match and the next time you attend that that same venue, the, the last thought last thought or last memory is of the, the perhaps verbal abuse and, and swearing that you received last time you were there. I think the Kamenak Association are, are doing a great work in terms of getting lots of people um, through foundation referee courses and, and grade one referee courses, um, sorry, grade three referee courses, um, to give people a, 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 to get people involved in refereeing at, at youth level and at women's level, to give them a better understanding of of the difficulties that are out there when when refereeing matches, and I think the people that are out there refereeing those matches, they will hopefully take it into their own game um, 